The motorsport shirt design concept is one of the top design trends that is trending in the streetwear scene this year. So today I'm going to show you how to do that on Photoshop. Let's go. Yo, 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 what is good? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs. So before I begin the tutorial, I want to show you guys where I get inspiration from for today's design. It's mainly from this drop by Represent with Featured Champions. Now, I like how they just recycle the same design elements, you know. You can see that they made six different racing patches and then just reused them on multiple garments with some minor tweaks and arrangement to give it a different vibe. I also like how they limit the colors to only red, blue, and white. Again, this helps save the printing costs, especially if you're screen printing. Now, to get even more inspired, I've made this mood board on Pinterest. I will keep referring to it for inspiration because, you know, I have no specific plan on what patches to emulate. So I will just make it up as I go completely raw. All right, guys, so just like usual, the print size is a tool, which is 4961 pixels by 7016 pixels at 300 DPI. Now, I've pre-selected the colors already. If you want to copy them, just pause the video and then pick them using the color picker tool. Now, the first racing patch I'm going to design is, for the lack of a better word, pretty basic. You know, it's basically just initials of the brand name. So. In my case, it's ED, stands for Eden Depth, which is my mock brand. Now, the font name is College, and I'm using the bold variant of it. Right now, I'm just gonna stack them like this to make it look like they're connected. Now, once you're happy with the placement, select both of the font layers, right click, and then convert to shape. After that, go to the top left corner here to change the colors. So click on fill and we're going to pick the color red and then go to stroke next to it and keep it in white but put in 40 to make it nice and bold. Next select both of the layers and then command J to copy them. Drag the copied layers below the original layers. Go to the settings and select outside for the align setting and key in 70 to make it even bolder so that it kind of surrounds the entire design giving it that patch look. Next, command G to group the layers together. This way, it'll be easier for us to change the perspective of the design. Now hit command T and then right click and select skew and just drag the right section upwards like this. Then go to the top section and then drag it to the right like this to give it this angle look. Now this is basic design 101. Slanted elements look more dynamic, which fits the racing theme design today. Final step is adding a subtext below the design. I'm just going to type in championship. By the way, guys, the font name for this is contracts. And just like the ED design, we're going to change its perspective by using the skew select to match the angle of the entire design. That is it for the first patch, guys. I'm just, you know, it's pretty simple and essentially the same design steps for the remaining patches. Let me show you guys one more time by moving on to the second design. Now we're going to work on the second patch design. I'm going to use this one for reference. So using the shape tool to create a new shape by dragging it like this, make sure you're holding on the shift key on your keyboard so that the ratio is set. Now, the color for this one, we're going to use blue, white, and yellow. And that's basically for the colors. We're going to do the red and white combo on the third patch and onwards. Moving on now, set the fill color to blue and the stroke to yellow. Set the stroke size in 50. After that, command J to copy it and then select the second one. Size it down to about so. Then go back and then select the first shape layer. Command click on the second shape layer to bring up the selection and then apply a mask layer. This will then get rid of the inner blue circle. Now go back to the fill layer and then set it to none. There we go. Now we're going to add the circular text by changing the setting from shape to path and then drag it across like this. You just got to make sure that it's within the shape that we have created earlier. Now click on the dot at the top like this. And now we have the text. Now let's change the font to Kuvadiga. I'm just going to type in relevant stuff like worldwide for the top and then championship for the bottom. 
Now to mirror the championship for the bottom, highlight the text and then hold the option key on your keyboard and then just drag the mouse like this to make it mirrored. Now rotate it 180 degree, adjust the size accordingly and we're set. Moving on in the middle, I'm gonna type in 4 to 2 and then change the font to Aeroblade, fix the kerning and rotate it just a bit to add more dynamic to the design. Next, change the color to yellow and there we go. Final step is adding a script font over the 4 to 2 text just to add more character to the design. From now on, there's just gonna be a lot of fine tuning on the design element so you can fix the kerning or you know mess with the colors whatever but more or less it is the same few repeated steps just like the first patch design so yeah it does require some practice but once you get the hang of it you're all set all right so for the third patch design i'm just gonna wing it i don't have anything in mind but i am going to use my white 2k elements pack for this one i'm gonna show you guys what i mean in a sec so i'm gonna start with the text just like the first patch font name is ea sports i'm gonna size it up convert it to shape and then apply a warp effect specifically the bulge but i'm gonna make it go inwards instead so it gives this cool compressed look and then i'm gonna go to my y2k elements pack and then grab this one right here put it on top of the text and then add a motorsport subtext at the bottom to sum it up Moving forward, I'm going to create a couple of shapes that match the overall placements of the assets to achieve the batch look. After that, it's just going to be a lot of color change and, you know, trying to match what works and what doesn't. And then adding outlines and even more outlines, same as before. Alright, now moving on with the fourth patch design i'm gonna keep this one relatively simple just eaten in the both futura condensed font with a fire trail at the end of end and then same thing as before i'm gonna make it slanted you know convert it to shapes and then add the same color combo and then outlines to get the patch look Okay guys, so for the final patch design, I'm going to take a huge inspiration from the iconic Dunlop logo, but I'll add a fire trail maybe, you know, just to add more flair to it, no pun intended. But yeah, starting off with the triangle and then create another triangle set. And then I'm going to set this one to black and then select the outline and then apply it to the first triangle to get that thin pointy shape. Now there's probably a better way to do this. My basic Photoshop knowledge is actually very early 2000s. Uh, Photoshop back then was so much different, but yeah, right now I've added a circle in the middle, then I'm gonna change the fill color to yellow. And then after that, I'm just gonna add a letter E to wrap it up it's a very straightforward logo and frankly very iconic um i'd say to some generations of course not sure about gen z but but yeah guys that's essentially it you just need a basic knowledge of how to create shapes in photoshop and some inspiration from pinterest or instagram wherever and you're pretty much all set really so yeah let me show you guys now the final result perfect So guys, that's all for today. Hope you learned something useful that you can add to your own clothing brand. If you want more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. See you on the next one.